by Travis Hessman, Industry Week. I am at IMCS 2014. I'm here in the Emerging Technology Center. I'm standing with Jan Floria. And behind us is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This has been showing up at 3D printing shows for the last couple of months. It is, um, I don't know, it, it, would you say it a 3D printed um, Ford Torino? Um, it is covered with liquid um, 3D printing process. Uh, and you are the artist that has created this. So tell us what this thing is, uh, I guess, first off. Yeah. Well, it's um, a Ford Torino, and it's fused with the newest technology. So the idea behind was to take a, a car, a body of a car made on the traditional assembly line, because uh, the assembly line was introduced by Henry Ford 100 years ago, and that was the beginning of the second industrial revolution. The idea and the concept behind this was to take a car like that and fuse it with the newest 3D printing technologies and materials, kind of to announce and to, to mark the moment of the beginning of the third industrial revolution that we, are, we enter in the 21st century. So it's kind of a concept, but it's a touchable, you know, car. And uh, yeah, I did um, use a lot of uh, 3D industrial size 3D printers combined with the smaller ones. So it's a mixed media. And uh, the entire car was encapsulated in one piece with some little post addition, but uh, it's a 3D printing encapsulation followed by a liquid metal encapsulation. So they are emerging technologies and materials. So that's the reason everybody, the viewer, when, when walks in and looks, they don't know how to, to read this, this kind of the information, the shapes, the liquid metal. I mean, it's human brain is not used with something like this. Yeah, no, it is, it's, a, it's a startling piece, um, and it is, I, th I think, really fascinating. And I, I'm happy that it showed up here because it's an art piece, but it does cross the line between uh, the industrial-grade printers along with arts, along with just, I guess, industrial application of, of uh, the technology. Can you talk a little bit more about the, your inspiration behind this uh, and, uh, and uh, why you're, uh, you're talking this thing around? Well, you know, you, you might, people might wonder what, what it's an art piece doing in a manufacturing show. But I think it's very important to understand that it's a common ground both for art and manufacturing and especially bringing back manufacturing to U.S. and how to be competitive. I think the, the main ground is creativity, inventivity, innovation. So it's all about how to, how to stay in business, how to bring something new, how to compete in this global economy. So I think it's the same, you know, the, the manufacturing, the industry, they have to, you know, to use this kind of uh, thinking out of the box. They have to be creative because you cannot just make one one part right now, manufacture the same, you know, like traditional assembly line. No, you have to combine ideas, combine machines. You know, for example, another interesting thing is to combine CNC milling and 3D printing. So you have the CNC that's subtractive and the additive. So put them in one machine, and I think it's one on the floor around here. So that's that's so kind of there are actually three of them like floating around here. So it's, it's a big big deal. Exactly. So I think that's the future and. You know, I, I, I predict and I, I see the huge potential, you know, because you can, you can blend, you know, ideas, blend materials, and you get, you know, I mean, you have to be competitive and creative, so. All right, so this crowd of uh, engineers and manufacturers and, like, real, like, um, the makers of things, how are they responding to this? Well, I think they, they were like, okay, how was this possible? How did you make it? And... It's a great interaction. I mean, everybody, everybody has something to say, and everybody asks, and I learn from them because they say, "Did you try this? Did you try?" I thought it's that. So, so it's a dialogue, and I'm amazed, you know, because uh, at one point I wonder, like, what am I doing here? You know, I, I feel like an outsider. But then, you know, when you find, you know, common ground and exchange of ideas, it's like unbelievable. I mean, it's amazing, and everybody's open. They want to learn. So I think. I think because from the strict technology and, you know, technical mind to see something like this, it's kind of a, you know, a break and at the same time it's like exciting, so. Awesome. It's really great. All right. Uh, and that'll do it. Uh, thank you, Jan. This is a great experience. All right. Thank you very much. This is Travis Hessman, Industry Week, IMTS 2014, and I'm heading home.